Hello, this is Rachel with Good Behavior Beginnings, and I wanted to just spend a few minutes talking about how to keep kids busy when you're trying to do something else. Now, for us, that has been how do I keep my kid entertained when they have downtime and I have to work from home? So I came up with sort of like a little game um, that I'm calling Borden boredom buster bingo and all it is is a five by five grid that i made in word i think and i just typed in some ideas of activities things that they could do online or in the house while i'm busy that they could do independently um, i made two game boards because I had enough different ideas. And in the center of all of them is read because I do want to encourage that reading and uh, see if you know we can get them interested in reading on their own. But there's just a variety of ideas and activities that the kid can do independently and might take up some time. They're mostly open-ended um so play restaurant or do a scavenger hunt or the hula hoop um play with the pets take pictures uh paper airplanes write a story those sorts of things so they could be pretty open-ended they're just to sort of brainstorm get some ideas going and the way that it works as far as bingo is that the kid will mark off what they have done when they do it or when they've already done an activity. And we had it arranged that I believe it was 50 cents towards the allowance if the learner um, made a bingo. So if you were to get five in a row in any direction, then there's an extra 50 cents on the weekly allowance that my kid earns for doing chores and things around the house. Um, it's worked pretty well. It actually worked really well when I first introduced it because things were new and it was a new idea. Um, it's not something that uh, my kid necessarily seeks out as frequently, but I think also that because of something like this, giving an, um, some ideas and having a place where a lot of ideas are listed, my kids going to that list and coming up with things and not necessarily even treating it for bingo purposes to earn allowance money, but just because then the activity itself is fun and it's something to do. So we've done less actually of the, the bingo part of the game and more of it just being a list of ideas when you can't think of what to do and you're bored. So maybe now it's just a boredom buster instead of boredom buster bingo. Um, I do leave to uh, posted on the wall where my kids toys are so that there's um, a visual there's a reference for if you can't think of anything here's where to go and look and um yeah it seems to be working very well so i it, this is something that i think anybody could create pretty easily you can just think of some toys or games or ideas that your learner can do by themselves and put it on a piece of paper doesn't have to be typed i typed it because we were going to have them mark off but you could handwrite it and then maybe put it in a um what's that called a page protector so you can dry erase mark over it if you wanted to do the bingo portion um or you can just handwrite new ones every time and and switch up the ideas and i might switch up these activities too now that we've been doing these for a little while and that will probably um, make it more fun or just add another game board right now there's there's two game boards, maybe there'll be three game boards in the future. So anyway, that is our boredom buster bingo that we have come up with to help keep the child busy and entertained while my husband and I have to work from home and can't spend every single solitary second with the kid. So hopefully that's helpful. Let me know if you've come up with other strategies. I'd love to hear them.